So I'm here in São Paulo, Brazil for a tour and I decided to come here to this place I want to show you. Come with me. So this is a bookstore. So have all kinds of scores and song books. So I, I came here so many times in my life. So I want to share with you some books that I have, some books that I bought, some books that I that are going to buy. <laughs> you know, um, I'm probably going to spend a lot of money here today. But uh, let's see. Let me let me show you some stuff that I really like. I know back there they have the. You know what? You know what? We're going to start here. So they still have this book. So the, this is, you know, my, my first book. We're gonna open. I hope it's okay. Good memory. So when I was 11 years old, uh, so my first teacher suggested to buy this book. I know it looks old, right? Yeah. So the basics, you know, how to tune the guitar. I remember those. Uh, that's amazing. Uh, good memories. Yeah, good memories, huh? Yeah, yeah, I remember this. Actually, you know what? I have to buy this because I don't think I have it, my the original one. You know, yeah, yeah, this, I remember. <laughs> yeah, Vols. Okay, so. And then, of course, you have some Tarrega and Chopin. I remember this one, yeah, A major. Yeah. So, great memories. I think I'm gonna buy this one, yeah. It's like, keep this. I'm buying. <laughs> All right, so, so here. Thank you, thank you. So those are the ones, you know, I remember this collection, Isaiah Savio, uh, Henrique Pinto, a great uh, acoustic guitar player and professor. Um, a lot of people learn to play acoustic guitar in Brazil through his books. Yeah, it's basically Isa Isaiah Savio and, and Henrik. Pinto. Okay, let's see what else. What else? Of course, you have. Oh, this one. Yeah. I used to have this one. Giorgio, Pat Martino, Benson. Yeah. At some point in my life, I had those books. They disappeared, but you know, uh, a lot. Of, I learned a lot of stuff from those books here. Let's see what else. What else? Yeah, a lot of new stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, this side here. Oh, this is very, this is very important to have, you know, the real book. This is a B flat, but anyways, uh, this one, right? Oh, C, C instrument. Yeah, the real book. It's a must-have for a musician. Any musician, you know. Let's. Oh, this is. This is. A, I have this one at home, and uh, this is our one of the greatest uh, guitar players from Brazil, um, influenced so many people here, influenced uh, Pat Metheny and his songbook, it's amazing, amazing stuff, what else? Uh, those, uh, you know what, let me find here the, 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 the here, okay, the, that's the harmony section, okay, those, those books here, oh, this is also theory, um, this one here, Harmony and Improvisation. Um, so I, I basically learned how, you know, Harmony and, you know, everything, the basics of Harmony and the names, everything through this book. And of course my teachers as well. Um, but I remember reading this and trying to understand and suffering, suffering, yeah, so. This one here and this one too. Oh yeah, so great memories. You know, I feel I feel like buying all those books just for the memory. Uh, I should, you know, read again, but you know. But anyways, um, yeah, so cool, so cool this because basically uh, 
teaching teaching harmony and chord progressions and examples but always with uh, Brazilian music with not only with jazz but Brazilian music so everything that I learned in harmony and songwriting was always based on Brazilian music um, not much the American or Berkeley uh, you know books or song books yeah what else what else do we have I think we have let's see here pop rock yeah here we have Queen and yeah Slash Steve Vai yeah I can see the Van Halen oh that's that's good yeah that's, that's a nice one so must have to but I was always more interested on those kind of books you know modalism you know model music harmony uh, that's a great guy Ian Guest amazing books as well yeah great stuff great stuff and uh, and also because a lot of a lot of the publishing companies um, you have some public pu publishing companies in Brazil so don't find those books in other places you know only here so um, you know the the Bossa Nova collection you know have like it's great I, I used to have all those books I still have some um, you know the Bossa Nova one and two and three and four and five so all the songs it's like or Shoro that style a uh, few notes few notes that's amazing this style of music Brazilian uh, Shoro basically it's a style of music with um, kind of bandolin, seven strings acoustic guitar, six strings acoustic guitar. So yeah, a lot of notes. It's really fun to learn those songs, you know, to be inspired for melodies and rhythms and all that. Oh yeah, this is this look looks like a, also great songs. Influenced at all the jazz, great jazz musicians, Milton Nascimento, like all the Harry Hancock. Uh, Wayne Shorter, you know, uh, they are all influenced by him, his his songs, uh, his lyrics. Yeah, of course, and the master, Jobim, Antonio Carlos Jobim, the composer of Girl from Ipanema and Desafinado and all that. So this is, I think I'm gonna spend a lot of money here, you know. <laughs> Okay, my friend's gonna find here is uh, let's see if they still have the my first uh, do you have oh this one okay yeah so I did this DVD this is like 2002 do you have you don't uh, okay. all right this is the young Kiko there <laughs> all right all right okay what else what else I have this this one also I, I need to to buy because that's the biography of one of the, our most amazing musicians, Hermeto Pascual. I didn't know about this book, so yeah. Another one. So what else? There's so many great stuff. You know, some people are into vinyls. I'm more into books and song books and you know things, so I can read, I can learn. So this method, you know, the Suzuki methods is a famous. I don't know about guitar. Nev I never used the Suzuki methods, but my my daughter, she she's learning cello so and she uses the the cello Suzuki method so it seems to be a great method to start for kids younger younger kids right ah uh, this is drums from Amazon so books that you only find in Brazil you know like for drummers so for you know great stuff you have this our great another Kiko another Kiko but this is one the Freitas Kiko see he's he's amazing or have a like Achilles 
We played together in Angra for many years. Great stuff. Yeah, if you're a drummer, it's always good to learn some Brazilian groove from the Brazilian books, you know, Brazilian drummers. I have this one at home as well. Good stuff. I found I found it's a bit confusing the the way they present the stuff, but it's always good if you want to learn some jazz things. That's a good one. Famous, that's beautiful. Oh. Wow, that's nice. Vinicius. So Vinicius, he was the he was the the poet who wrote Girl from Ipanema and so many other ones uh, from the Bossa Nova times and later on. Um, it's like a huge name here. Huge name regarding lyrics. Alright, what else? Some books, biographies, uh, they grow. Uh, you know what, I'm not much into biographies from rock stars because it's always like uh, drugs and alcohol and then the guy's clean and then it's back to drugs and alcohol and then it's clean. It's always like kind of the same thing. So I, I think it's boring. Most of the, you know, so I think it's sometimes more interesting to read the, the life of uh, some classical composer or something more, you know, like, you know, Mozart or Beethoven. For me at least, or like this one from Hermeto Pascual, I might, I might get this one to um, to know a bit more about his life. Um, has so many stories that he went to Miles Dave's apartment and started showing a lot of songs, and Miles like uh, amazed by his talent. But actually, he was just improvising in front of Miles Davis. He said, "Like, yeah, I have as many songs as you want," because he was improvising. So there's an album from Miles Davis, Live Evil, that you have songs from uh, Hermit Pasquale. Well, I think it's good. That's the, it's like a candy store for me. So I just want to show you guys a little bit of the Free Note is the name of the store here in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And uh, I put the link down below so you guys can check the store if you want to order something. I'm not doing it. Uh, I'm just, it just came here. I'm not, I'm not paid or anything. I just like the store and just want to share with you guys. But uh, it's a great place to, to find some interesting interesting book, it's a specialized store in song books and scores and all that. You have all the classicals and you know pop, um, you know everything is here basically so yeah enjoy. Thanks.